Welcome everybody. Here we will uh, specifically talk about the guided ocean layer fluid extended. So this is the topic of today. Hopefully we can cover it properly. And it's in relation to this simulation that we rendered in Karma of a submarine that is uh, rushing through the ocean to the surface and creating this crazy splashes. Previously we talked about the geometry, how to create the guarded flip tank and how to simulate it and importing the particles and here we will continue how to extend it and make it a very big ocean like this. So let's start. So this is the network that we'll dive into. It's a uh, chaotic but uh, the main topics that uh, it's covering here so it is divided into two parts this part and this part this part talked about the particle uh, of the flip fluid being imported and cached and the flip surface and caching so here it's being imported and this is the surface so we do the surface and the extended version of it according to the region and here we are caching it and this is where it will be rendered on the second part it's about the high frequency and the spectrum uh, masking and ocean evaluate which will be in this part and it's all relying on the ocean uh, guided ocean layer initial so we have the particle fluid mask wherever the splashes and the actions being get done so it will be mask and the high frequency small waves will be masked accordingly so the low frequency coming from the simulation will blend with the extended ocean after that <coughs> we need to bake or cache the spectra and the mask this one is only one file this one is the sequence so they can be used during the render in mantra or karma or arnold also uh, to make the extended uh, layer displays according to the spectra and here where you can see it so this is uh, in a nutshell hopefully I will be able to cover it nicely so as you can see here this is my simulation I'm out I'm not using this one all the way I will go and use the extended <coughs> sorry extended version see this is bigger than the previous one so we'll dive here we have our flip it's being uh, compressed so we added the particle surface let's open it so on the particle surface as you can see in the surface I'm using bond 5 uh, just at the higher number so I can have a quick response decrease the voxel size and keep the influence and the droplet scale the same and erosion kept it at 0.8 adaptivity doesn't have that much effect but I kept it as default and then in the filtering I added some dilation then another erosion so let's have a frame in the middle so this is one of the frames so this is without the dilation This is in its original form. Now you can see these small particles. Let's activate it and they become more sharp. And that depends on your resolution. So, after that, we go to the region. And the region, I'm flattening the geometry. Initially, it will be like this. If you want 
a small tank but flattening geometry will extend it and nothing below you remove the walls and how much you want it big you can define here let's say 400 and watch it went even bigger and you can define it by the camera so by using the water level you can increase up or down the water level and here in the extrusion distance you can define how much extended you want the extrusion distance to be so let's make it 100 and it will be smaller and the camera in case you want to uh, minimize the loading by deleting or unloading the things that's outside the uh, first time of the camera so after that we cache it this is my original cache and as you can see here we have this high frequency detail and we have the spectrum the things that we created here will be applied to this flat surface but we don't want it to uh, add on and multiply on the simulated geometry okay we want just uh, uh, have a low frequency to kick in but the high frequency of this node to be masked so this is where the masking will occur so it's a volume mask for the geometry and you can change its uh, shape from rectangle or circle up to you so let's just keep it circle for now and it's a method of subversion not contribution so we are removing if you look here as you can see this is the area that will not be uh, that will that will be masked so no no displacement will occur in this red zone with some fall off high frequency mask also the same thing because we have the low frequency and the high frequency and let's say it's a circle we can view it here we can con uh, control how much velocity range we want to affect using the same separation line and uh, filtering below 6 will be removed also we can check the filter above and this is the boundary layer so we can change it after that we need to split it, split this uh, phase frequency and amplitude accordingly so in this part we have the points that we need to cache as one frame so we can save it to disk and in this part we have the mask it's a VDB mask it's called mask that we will cache it as an animation frame range here it's a single frame after we cache them both we can merge and we can view it through the ocean to evaluate as you can see here let's take another frame see, this flat area will be displaced so in the material the ocean surface material that will be applied here in case you have foam you can add it but in the displacement is the spectrum geometry this node will be added here and the second mask 
will be added to the mask as sequence so let's take another frame so in here uh, this is the displacement of the spectrum and it will fade off here and the simulation will kick in and make it uh, synchronized and blend very nicely so as you can see you can add uh, more masks and uh, more uh, scattered points so we can have uh, a sort of uh, natural waves so it's uh, some area that's cool some area that is disturbed and calm area like a real ocean so this is how it's blending nicely thank you for watching and uh, next topic will uh, touch on the white water that you see in here all this great stuff thank you very much